Welcome to Pray TV. Thank you for joining us here again as we continue in our pursuit of the Lord during these trying times, these difficult times, these challenging times. But we know that God, by His Spirit, is leading and guiding us. You know, I just want to kind of tag team with our senior pastor, Roberto Miranda, and the message that he brought yesterday. He said that it was just going to be like foundational, kind of what you might call comfort food. He used that as an analogy, and I like it a lot. But he took us into that Psalm 23. And you know what he said? He said, actually, he had never done a complete message on that psalm, even though we know that it, it's such a standard for us. But I felt like I'm going to re-emphasize what he's been drawing our hearts to so that we can really hear the deeper message within that and we can draw the comfort that we need. These are difficult times. These are times of trials and you may be going through some of that. But let me just take us to this particular psalm and let's read this. And as we do, I'm going to read from the New King James Version of the Bible, and I'm going to read it in its entirety, all six verses. It's not long. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake, yea, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. As we look and as we contemplate this beautiful, beautiful psalm, a psalm that we've grown up with, a psalm that has been a standard for our souls, a psalm that many of us have seen our mothers put onto a wall plaque and put it before our eyes so that we could go to it and we could read it again and again and again. God has so much good in store for you. And yes, we are aware that through these troubling times, there is for some of us pain, for some of us sadness. Here at our church, I know of at least four families that have been immediately touched with death as a result of this coronavirus. One young lady in her mid-40s, a lawyer, a seasoned member of this congregation that I'm a part of, she passed away. So we know there's sadness and many others, there's sorrow and sadness. But God's comfort is here, and God's using this time, and God's going to comfort you, and he's going to comfort me as well. He's going to take our souls, and he's going to bring us into a place of abiding in him, perhaps like we had never done before. I'm going to reread this portion just one more time as you and I prepare ourselves. Let us just allow the Holy Spirit to take us and put his shepherd rod over us and allow these words that we've known from the time that many of us have been young bring comfort to our souls. Psalm 23 read, from the New King James Version of the Bible. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. 
He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Holy Spirit, we come under the shelter of these words that we have heard maybe a thousand, two thousand times. You're our shepherd. You're guiding. You're leading us, and you have not led us astray. You are leading us into intimacy with you. You're leading us into covering by you. You're leading us into protection over our souls. And Father, we just know that this day, for each of us, has different meanings. But we're not afraid because you're with us. You lead us into your truth. You take us into your presence. You guide us into an abundant life, even if we suffer loss. Life is not easy. But life with you, Lord, is good. It's so good. Our hearts are made glad because of your goodness to us. Folks, if I were to tell you how good God has been to me, I just, I'd stay here all day. His kindness and his mercies to my life are past describing. And I know when you look at the goodness of God and you count your blessings and you consider what he has redeemed us from and how he has brought us back to life. Oh, his goodness is so incredible. It's so incredible. I really just want for you to be able to enter into that today. I remind you of people who do not yet know the goodness of God, who have not yet yielded to his will and his ways, that your heart will be fortified, that your soul will be strengthened. Don't be afraid. Even like Jeremiah, the Lord was telling him, don't be afraid of their faces. There are people who, when you try to witness to them or you try to declare the things of God, if you look at their faces, it'll make your heart cringe because you see judgment there. But allow the Holy Spirit right now to take you and fortify your inner being with courage so that you can tell of the goodness of God to your friends, to your neighbors, on Facebook, through social media, by emails. And yes, if you are watching our program, we would love for you to just share this program with someone else. God can use that as well. If you don't feel like you're necessarily equipped, just, just share some of the goodness that God's giving because there's great abundance that he is giving through many, many voices who are hearing his voice, obeying his word. So, like and share this little program and be an impact in other people's lives. God will fortify you and you will have a part of the heavenly reward 
for partaking with us in this work. May God bless you richly.